What's up guys, it's Juan J Sneakers here and I'm back with another unboxing and today we got a pretty special one Starting off with the box. You already know This is gonna be the Nike Air Jordan 1 box and I have The Nike Air Jordan 1 retro rookie of the year colorway in a size 9 I did go true to size on this it fits just like any other Jordan 1 So to start off here we go Here's the shoe, the Nike Air Jordan 1 Retro High, Rookie of the Year colorway. I did end up securing this pair off of Nike. I had early access to the shoes through the Nike app, so I got really lucky on that. This shoe is structured just like any other Jordan 1. The only other differences you will see here is that on the upper, they do use a new buck suede on the toe cap and then on these parts, on the eyelets and on the wings part of the shoe. Another difference in the structure of the shoe is that the little flaps on the wings do open up and they do show you stats and a little uh, quote from Jordan when he made his speech for getting his award for Rookie of the Year. So yeah, on this upper you're gonna see that there are uh, not white touches, but these are actually cream they are an off-white cream color. I think it looks really nice with the shoe. It really accents the nice tan that they used on the new buck. And it would have looked a lot different if they did use a white color. On here you do have a black leather swoosh and it is super tumbled on my pair for the leather. You can see here on the inside as well. It's got a lot of tumbling on the side panel and also on the toe box. Moving down to the midsole, it is again an off-white color, not quite a pure white color. And then on the back heel, it is a black leather, and this is actually surprisingly soft. I like the materials on this shoe. I think they're super high quality. I wish they were leather panels instead of the new buck, but I think the new buck is just as good. Moving to the bottom, you do have your standard Nike Air Jordan 1 outsole in all black. And then the shoe comes laced up with black laces, and it also comes with these red laces if you wanna switch those out. I think the red for me is a little bit too bright. If it could have been a little more muted, I think it would have looked good with the shoe. If it were something a little closer to what they use on the Nike tag on the top. So those are my thoughts on the Air Jordan 1 Retro High in the Rookie of the Year colorway. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'm Wanjay Sneakers. Peace.